Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. It's the 9th, May 9th. And uh, yeah, I've been MIA for a while. But um, this is one of the topics I really wanted to share with you guys. But uh, I will go in more depth about it a little later. I just briefly, I got lost. I put so much on my own plate that I couldn't handle it. Um, it's kind of like trying to find myself and also just like transitioning <clears throat> from the competition and just not knowing what I really wanted, which the plan has been already set and uh, but it was still just like kind of a mind game of uh, me obviously wanted to compete and as well live life and do some adult stuff which was hard i'm not gonna lie which was freaking hard but to be honest i'm already let's say mentally healed i just needed to take some time for myself and really focus on on self-development and um see what i want to do or which direction i want to go because i tend to have all these ideas and never finish anything because as i said i get really lost easily that's what i've been trying to do and finally i'm finding my way uh one of the biggest moves that i did is actually moving out so if you don't know my my background uh, I used to live in Hawaii for four years and completely by myself of course I had a relationship we li lived together but still it was kind of like uh, being an independent woman <laughs> and doing everything on my own and I'm also a type of person who don't ask for help unless it's very necessary unless I'm feeling I'm drawing or like seriously I only ask for help when I really need it so whenever I ask for help you guys know that I'm in need of a second hand but uh, yeah so living by myself and doing stuff on my own for four years then moving back to my home country Slovakia was hard because for different reasons one of them being is moving back to my parents house uh living with them living with four other people when i used to live on my own and just had this my my space i had my daily routine i was my own boss <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong i have like a beautiful relationship with my parents I love my mom I love my siblings um, there is no problem with that there is no problem with the relationship between us it's just me wanting to be independent me as an introvert wanting to have my space wanting to have um, just you know like, I can't describe it any better it's basically just me wanting to have this sphere where I can only do what I need to do in order to progress forward so now I'm gonna give you an example let's say I wake up in the morning I have my little routine uh, where I don't want to talk to anyone just because it's the time for myself to read to drink my cup of coffee and you know just be for yourself there can be distractions when you're living with other people especially when you're stepping out from something that you used to do and then it's just hot <laughs> anyways i find a place for myself and i'm moving in today and i wanted to show you this little apartment it's a one bedroom it's still kind of messy because i just trying to bring all my stuff in but uh, yeah that's where I'm gonna be living and continuing doing myself this way I'm allowing myself to focus on my 
business growth, my personal growth, my prep, and um, everything that's needed to do in order for me to be successful and achieve my goals. So I'm gonna drive you guys there, go upstairs and show you around. It's where I'm gonna be living from now on. As I said, it's still pretty messy. I haven't been living here. I have this apartment for a week now. One of our family friends, he was kind enough to come over and assemble my furniture. And the bed will be changed. It's like right there. It's still gonna be uh, built. So this is where you will see me from now on, all my pictures, my new vlogs, because I already told you guys, I'll be more consistent. I'll be making sure that everything that you ask for, you're receiving. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for this uh, new chapter of my life and just a new beginning which will be amazing so i hope you guys will enjoy this vlog and talk to you soon so i just came back to my mom's house i'm gonna make some breakfast it's currently 8 40. i usually eat or eat around uh, 10 a.m so that's my pre-workout meal and then i go to the gym i'm gonna take you guys along with me i'll uh, show a few of my favorite exercises and while I'm eating, I also want to have a sit down talk with you and just like kind of update you what has been going on since I stepped off the stage because I haven't really been covering that part, which has already been almost four weeks. So that's pretty long time. So let's get started with this breakfast. So I'll be having asparagus. I already measured out two ounces. 100 grams of tomatoes with six egg whites and some spinach. one for my oats because if you put an egg white in your oats and you cook it that way it will be much fluffier you will see and tomatoes is done I'm gonna go ahead and make the oats and as I said I'll save one egg uh, I'll be using only the egg whites to add to my oats and cook it that way 
so it will be much more voluminous and fluffier which is really nice so my favorite sweeteners to add to my oats at the moment are the flavor drops you can see it flavor drops from Jim Beam, this one is the coconut flavor and the other one is the, the chocolate one come on focus, there you go so it's the chocolate one, I'm gonna mix these two uh, I will use 10 drops of this, the, banana, uh, the coconut one and 10 drops of the chocolate one uh, the flavor is really good. It doesn't taste artificial as most of the time the, the flavor drops do. I also have the banana flavor and I really don't like anything uh, artificially uh, sweetened or flavored banana, but it is really good. So if you live in Slovakia, you can go ahead and uh, get this off of the website of Jim Beam, which is jimbeam.sk I'm gonna link down below uh, I'm not affiliate, affiliated with them. I just really like the, the product. So I just want to share it with you guys and Yeah, I'm gonna use these in to my oats and I'm also gonna add some cinnamon and since I ran out of the fruit, I usually use strawberries but I'm gonna pan fry butternut squash and kind of like caramelize it. I'm gonna I add some sugar free syrup as well and top my oats with that today. Uh, yeah, and let's not forget about the nut butter, which is you already seen it if you follow me on Instagram, which I've been just so obsessed about. And those are the, the cheat spread. I'm gonna show you that. So, I got these three flavors. One is the pecan maple pie. This one is the best. It's my favorite one. If you can't tell, I probably have like half a serving left. And I also have this almond white chocolate raspberry flavor. This is really good as well. Uh, it's not their mistake, it's me who put it close to the, the heat where the white chocolate chip melted, so it's kind of like, it's really sweet at the moment just because of the white chocolate has already melted but you probably want to keep it in the fridge just to avoid this issue but this is amazing, it's just me who would prefer more like the white chocolate chips in it because you know I love crunchiness and then the third one is the coconut chocolate chip this one is a really good flavor as well the most I like about it it's if you can tell about of the texture so it's basically coconut oil or coconut meat with some chocolate chip in it milk chocolate chips so yeah that melts on the warm oats or even on rice cake, if you spread it on rice cake, it melts, melts on it. So that's yummy. And then good news, cheat spread coming out with the new flavor, which I can't tell you what is that gonna be, but I will be sure to share it on Instagram. So just make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will link my uh, profile down below and I'll also input it on the screen right here and uh, they unfortunately don't ship outside of Slovakia and Czech Republic yet but fingers crossed they will because they do have to I mean people all around the world have to experience their yumminess all right my rent is over let's get back to cooking the oats before it burns
little bit more watery because when it, once it cools down, it becomes thicker and more voluminous from the eggs and then also that I added more water than usually people cook their oats. And I'm gonna use the peanuts pecan maple pie because I I feel like this flavor goes the best with this combination of the, the sweet coconut oats and the caramelized uh, butternut squash. I got my second cup of coffee this morning I wanted to sit you guys down there and talk to you a little bit what exactly happened since I stepped off stage from uh, Ireland I mean in Ireland uh, as I already mentioned today is the 9th of May and I competed April 14 which this Saturday will mark uh, four weeks post competition. So the plan initially was to compete in uh, in the UK if I don't get my pro card in Ireland, which I did not get because I placed second and overall, and only the the winner of the overall bikini gets the the pro card, right? So now. Total random accidentally one of my friend on Instagram messaged me and she was asking if I was coming over to Spain and I was like to Spain wait a minute when is that what is it there what I did not know about Spain at that time I was seven weeks out from the Olympia amateur in Spain and I was nine weeks out from the the UK championship which uh, my coach and I planned on competing at so I contacted my coach and I'm like, hey, this is this opportunity. I just found out and didn't know about it. Uh, what do you think if we were doing it? And he gave me the green light, green, green light. Come on, Nicolette, get it together. Green light right away, which great. So the situation being at that time, at that moment, when I messaged my coach is I was actually stuffing my face with food. I was... I don't like to call it as binge eating, but I was having an uncontrolled eating episode and I'm like, heck yes. He said we can prep for this show and <clears throat> he sees the potential in me winning that show. And I'm like, let's make this the last so-called free meal of this entire prep. I was a week post show and I thought it was gonna be okay. That was my very first one, uh, very first episode when I was kind of like uncontrollably, uncontrollably <laughs> eating and didn't give a damn shit about it. Uh, now, this is what triggered uh, the rest that came after it which since then had been already four times it happened four times where um where i would just go ahead and eat two times i went out with my friends and we just ordered stuff off of the menu which still i love steak so it was steak and some goose liver and things like that so it wasn't like really really bad but it was a lot of food a lot of calories and um two other times which is really interesting i'm not sure what the the root of the problem was thanks goodness it never happened since ever since 
but um, as I mentioned I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety and I had these panic attacks as well so I would be totally okay uh, during the day I followed my macros to the T it was 9 p.m. where I eat my last meal of the day and went to bed and I would just woke up in the middle of the night having to use the restroom but instead of going to the restroom I walked out to the kitchen which is next door in my mom's house and uh, I found myself eating stuff out of the fridge totally random things there would be vegetables or then I reached to the baked goods then some chocolate and then all of a sudden I woke up I never experienced really like sleepwalking and things like that but if you're someone who has please comment below or message me if you want to keep it private but I think this is kind of like that like I would want to walk to the to the bathroom and instead I walk to the kitchen and I woke up probably five minutes later finding myself stuffing my sleep stuffing my face with chocolate which is kind of weird like it's not okay in any meaning even if you're on prep or you compete you don't compete it's just not okay to do things like that um, unconsciously so please if you ever experienced anything like that just contact me I want to talk about it with you uh, as I said it happens happened two times since my last prep it happened before when i was living in hawaii as well but at that time i was like it's whatever i was just probably hungry i woke up i ate and i wasn't prepping so i didn't mind extra calories but at this point it's really strange so yeah ever since it didn't happen only those two times and that was two weeks ago the last one and this weekend today is uh, Wednesday so this weekend on Saturday and Sunday I was feeling so down I really needed to see my friends or just see someone who I can just totally forget about not even the prep but just like I felt this weight on my shoulders with everything and I didn't feel motivated to go to the gym I didn't train I didn't do cardio uh, the weekend so we went out for dinner and we ate i'm gonna show you the the pictures of the food that we got from the restaurant it's amazing like this steak with the goose liver and this homemade barbecue sauce it was amazing the appetizer was amazing the soup was kind of okay the dessert is like the quark um crepes that's amazing so yeah that's about it um this is what i wanted to share because i know a lot of you guys message me on instagram as well wondering how i keep my shit together how i fo how i follow my post competition uh plan which seems to be easy maybe the way i show it it shows that it's really easy for me to stick to it but in reality it's not like in fact I struggle a lot as well uh, I struggle with appetite control and uh, yeah if I don't plan ahead it's easier to go off track for me for you for everyone I think so just make sure you always prep your meals uh, even if it's not in containers just make sure you have cooked something in bulk you have some protein source I love my turkey breast I just cook it in uh, as whole and some sort of vegetable some carb source uh, even if you don't cook your carbs let's say potatoes rice or or uh, the butternut squash that I've been really loving just have uh, available some oats or anything like dry at least you can just quickly microwave it rice cakes perfect on the go as well uh, some sort of fruit like fruit is probably the the safest <laughs> kind of carb source like I never heard of something saying that they binged on apples or or something like that you know and they're satisfy your sweet tooth as well 
uh, this is what I wanted to cover for sure because I felt like I have to address this binge eating um, topic so I really hope you like this little rant of mine sharing my own experience with this eating habit um, and just to prove that I don't have my shit together even if it does seem like it from outside I'm always aiming to be as transparent as much possible on social media and now on YouTube as well uh, so if you have any questions about this feel free to DM me on Instagram you can also email me or if you don't want to be private or you want to share your uh, questions or thoughts in comment just comment down below i will answer it or if it's a complex question i will try to cover it in the next video but i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up eating my breakfast because it's probably cold and my my oats get thick finally so yeah i'm gonna do that and I will take you guys along with me to the gym where I'll show you my favorite exercises. So see you later. Hey guys, I figured I can do a little voiceover for you since I haven't done it before. Here you can see me doing band assisted pull ups. I like to use bands instead of machine to help myself because I feel I'm working harder and I really can focus on my form as well as solely use my lats for this exercise because that's what you want. So when you're performing this exercise, make sure your scapula is retracted chest up and imagine pulling your elbows into your waist then i moved on to the next exercise which is the narrow grip pull downs this exercise is my favorite one i can really feel my mid back doing the work and you also want to imagine pulling the weight from your elbows down while keeping your shoulders down as well this way you are not using your biceps to move the weight okay you guys ready for this one it will burn your bum so what you want to do is use any type of attachment i like to use the simple handle and place it just above my knees simple because i feel better my muscle mind connection as when i use ankle cuffs so turn your foot outward to target upper glutes and let it burn and as the last exercise, I call it a sumo front to the side squat because you start in a sumo stance, squat, then do a side lunge to the left, to the right and back to the middle. Not sure if that's the right name for this exercise, but I love it so much I had to make up a name for it. If you have a better suggestion for this exercise, please leave a comment below. Alright you guys, as I was doing the last uh, edit of this video, I realized I didn't do any uh, outro, I usually don't, <laughs> so I'm recording this on uh, Saturday at 9.20 in the morning, I'm eating my breakfast and there is this new cheat spread, the new flavor, give me one second. And I'm back so the new flavor of the cheat spread they just came came out with I can't tell the exactly what the flavor is but it's made out of almond so it's almond butter it's pretty liquidy and I can tell that this is my new favorite flavor we'll drop it on Thursday so if you'd like to purchase one for yourself, make sure you follow them on Instagram. I will link their Instagram uh, down below and uh, you can place your order there. But 
what I really wanted to say that I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you can relate to the topic that I talked about or if you know anyone who probably would benefit from listening to this talk or just listening to my experience please be sure to share it with them and if you have any comments or take-ons please leave it down below in the comment section I'll greatly appreciate it and make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all the good stuff you guys have a wonderful weekend and talk to you pretty soon